Well guys, before we get started on today's video, I'd like to quickly really highlight something that happened last time. Uh, we made a video on the legendary Matt Farley and he actually, uh, we actually sent him the video and he saw it and commented on it, so here's his comment right here. Uh, that was like the coolest thing that's ever happened to us. Um, on top of that, our old friend Jeroen also commented, so you know two highlights for the price of one, but we're going to stick with the Matt Farley one and just say that uh, due to this incredible thing that has happened, Studio M now stands for Studio Matt Farley and um, enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to Studio M, I'm Jem and today we are trying some American sweets for the first time or candy as they say, you know, and I've had most of these already, so the title, that's why it says sort of the first time, and he said Starburst. So let's start with that one. Check me some Starburst. There we go. Wow, that is that's like that's like Lay's right there. Do you see that? Yes. The proportion of sweets to box. That's ridiculous. Red is for cherry. So uh, this looks similar to a Mr. Boom. If any of our Madagascar viewers have ever had one of those. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what a cherry tastes like. I don't think I've ever had a cherry, so I assume this is what a cherry tastes like because every single cherry sweet I've ever had tastes like this. We need a palate cleanser. Yeah, what is this? It's water. No, it's not. It's just tastes like bad water. That's Starburst. What would you rate it out of 10? I give it an 8. It's uh, it's up there. Next up, we have Sour Patch Kids. Most sweets where I live don't really come in boxes. Like, this is a weird concept for me. Mmm, I'm a blue guy. What color are you, Andy? Red? Polar opposites, my friend. The key here is to make sure you guys don't get bored. Very standard, we have a sweet hero. That's better than this. I see this as an absolute win. So yes, these are nice. I'll say that. Out of 10, I'd give them a 7, maybe a 6. We do have something better here. Mm. Why did... Yep, we have the special gluten-free, fat-free variety of hot tomatoes. Hotter, hotter males, hotter males. So I haven't had exactly these. I've had like a smaller, a smaller. I've had a smaller version of this same thing. Oh look, it says push here to open. Push. Hey, there we go. Now it's like a dispenser. I actually really like cinnamon sweets. I think they're a very special sweet. They should be enjoyed. The texture is very strange. The texture on that was really weird. It was like a really soft jelly sweet. So I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10. Next up, the first one of this list that I have never had anything like as far as I can tell. I really have no idea what this is. A bit of a... Yeah, at least this one came in a bag. Okay, well the color is throwing me off. If we got something that looked like this here, We'd assume that it used to be like striped and then it melted and became one color. Mm. This could be the best one. So as a consequence of it being um, taffy, it's uh, taking quite a while over here. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Pretty right. Yep, 9 out of 10. Ring pop. So this is uh, watermelon flavored, oh, and here we have a sour, sour cherry. Oh. Ring pop is historically a good way to propose to your middle school girl. Oh really? Really? Well, just my luck. Wait, that's. 
you have to wear it. Which finger do you wear it on? I feel like a like a like a pope. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um but it's dumb, okay? We really need that sign. Ring pop, I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10. 3, 4, it's a decent sweet and minus whatever it would have gotten if it had been at all practical and not dumb. Ah, great way to end. See you guys next week. Thanks for watching and see you next week.